two years ago, I went insane. I did. I had just had our third child. I was trying to figure out how to get back in shape after all that. And I saw an ad on Facebook for the Goodwill Mud Run. Now, if you don't know what a mud run is, I'll explain it. Um, a mud run is a military-style obstacle course, usually run over a distance of a few miles. And this one, the Goodwill Mud Run, is in South Greenville. It has run over 3.4 miles and has 36 obstacles. And everything from an 18-foot rope wall to a Tarzan-style rope swing is covered with a thick coat of red Carolina mud. But what did I do? I signed up, of course. I found two of my friends and my sister, and we signed up and immediately started training. Because there were things that we knew that we would have to train on. We knew that we'd need to increase our endurance. We, need, we knew we'd need to incur, um, increase our upper body strength. And so we found a trainer who would train us in all these things, and he instead wanted to train us on teamwork patience, encouragement, motivation. I mean, he taught us how to flip tires and all that stuff, but he would really lose it if you, le if you left a man behind, as he said. And so we began training, not knowing what we were getting into, but fortunately he did. The day of the mud run, we were ready. We had our matching outfits. They all had our names on the back. We were high on energy drinks, and we were ready to own that course. And so the gun went off, and we took off for our first obstacle, face first, and within 30 seconds, we're covered with mud. As we rounded the finish, um, there were three obstacles left. We had gone through most of the obstacle course and, and, and learned that you actually do have to have some teamwork. You actually have to have a little bit of patience. And... By God, you better encourage those people because they're the ones lifting you off the ground. And so we rounded the corner, and there were three obstacles left. There was a four-foot pit with mud so thick it would suck the shoes right off your feet. There was a small, insignificant two-foot hill, and then there was a 12-foot wall that we'd have to scale as a team. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking the same thing I was thinking. That wall is going to hurt. And it did. But that wasn't the one thing that stopped me dead in my tracks. See, I had just come out of the pit and managed to keep my shoes on, which was a miracle in and of itself. And I came out, and my team was already ahead of me. They were already at the base of the wall staring at me, cheering for me, screaming, come on, we need you. And they'd already made it over this hill, and that was fine. And I was trying to step over the hill, and I realized I, I couldn't. And every step I took, I slid backwards. And every, the more tr I tried to gain, gain traction, the more I slipped and fell. And I was standing there just dumbfounded like this hill that doesn't even register with anyone else. What? Why can't I get over this stupid hill? And my, I hear the cheering and I hear the screams. And I, I see my sister standing at the base of the hill or at the base of the wall. Now, let me tell you something about my sister. My sister and I, for what we would call encouragement, most other people call verbal abuse. <laughs> and it's true, but it works. And so as my sister stood there encouraging me with more curse words than I can even recount, I just stared back. I, I don't know what to do. I, I'm just, I'm stuck. Now, let me make this clear for you. I had run over three miles. I had finished over 30, well, I'd finished 34 obstacles with my team. And a two-foot hill was what stopped me dead in my tracks. It was the weirdest thing. I couldn't figure it out. And even among all the cheering and all the noise and all the screams and the, the encouragement coming from all sides, for me, everything went silent. Encouragement's a funny thing, if you think about it. I mean, really, there's nothing better to feel like people are cheering you on. There's nothing better than to know that you are loved and that people care about your success. Really, there's nothing better. 
But the thing about motivation is that it really only works if you can take that in yourself. Now that's not to discount external motivators like cheering crowds or cursing siblings. Those things all work and they're all instrumental in helping us pull ourselves out of our discouragement. Without people cheering us on, we may just sit there dumbfounded. It's amazing to me that the theme for TEDx Spartanburg is together because together at its root means to be united. And to be united is a great thing. To work together is a great thing. We can accomplish things that we would never have accomplished before. But it's also important to remember that with, together can't happen without each of us. And so then it becomes something for each of us to acknowledge our part as a whole, to not only support each other, but to also understand where we fit and to be able to motivate ourselves to reach our own goals. But I couldn't do that at that two-foot hill. I stood there, and I stared, and all of the noise came back to me, and I heard my sister, and I heard my friends, and I heard my family cheering for me, and all of a sudden I knew, if I can get over this hill, we can make it. And so I took a step back, and that's exactly what I did. I found one square, probably a few inches around, and threw my body into that square of dirt and hurtled myself over. We finished our first mud run and we did it together. <laughs>